Marla Maples is known for her exterior beauty, but it's her inner beauty that led to an exclusive invitation to visit her in her beautiful L.A. home, one that invites calm and no trace of the chaos of city life. She's actually an expert at creating a sacred place just for you. I think I've always liked having a calm environment. I have never done well with a lot of argument or noise, noise around. I was an only child until I was probably 29. Oh. So it was very quiet around my home because you know how we move so fast. We're so busy. We're dealing, you know, jumping around, running the lights, running mm -hmm. through traffic and doing whatever we have to do to get from appointment to appointment. So when I walk in my door, I want to know that I've got the right music on, that, you know, just something even for a moment. Yeah. Whether I'm living in an L-shaped little <laughs> condo, you know, one bedroom, yeah. or, you know, a nice home. Just have that space for yourself. A space for her and now 17-year-old daughter Tiffany Trump. And now that Tiffany is in her teens and driving, mom's going through a new stage in her life. That took me about 16 years to get used <laughs> to the idea. Because I think from the moment she was born, I was worried about yeah. that day when she got her license. She's so responsible, and and I just have to like send her out with the angels, do a little protective shield around her, and and just trust. Trust there's a higher power at work because you know we can't control things. That's the bottom line. Well, Marla says that it's tough to see what mothers go through raising children, especially teenagers. And as a single mom herself, she's raised an incredible young lady in Tiffany. But raising her as a single mom, I think, has made a big difference. It's had its challenges, but we learned how to really depend on each other more as friends than just mom and daughter. You know, I really want her and her friends to always know that I'll speak to them about whatever they're going through without, without judgments. I was there, you know, I went, I just, she knows a lot about me. I've shared some of the difficulties in my teen years with her that were, were very, very challenging. Things that, you know, maybe some folks would say you did not tell her that. But I really believe, you know, you, you want your children to have a true understanding of, of, you know, your issues in a way that they can say, wow, okay, my mom's really got something to say about that because she did go through it. You know, you have to have your time to tune in, let go, let God, and, and then your intuition is a little brighter and sharper. Um, but, but for me, yeah, I don't want to be a hypocrite. Do not want to be a hypocrite. Marla went through a very public divorce from Donald Trump, but she told me that age and close friends played a factor in getting through the most difficult times. I think one of the hardest things is, is you have moments where it's painful, then you have moments where you're escaping it, and you go out into the real world, but there's people there to remind you what you're yes. going through. Oh, yeah, so you have that. to work through the emotions again and be very cautious not to speak negative. Um, because you never know what, you know, no matter what happens, there's always a place where each person involved feels somewhat betrayed. Yeah. And I had um, your beautiful godmother, <laughs> Janice around. There she is. And she's over there looking so glorious. Right. She is an she's angel. She's fantastic. I she love her. She would get on that piano and play and sing to Tiffany, and I'd be out trying to find a job. Oh. And, you know, Janice would be helping me out. It was so great to have someone there when my mom couldn't be there. Yeah. Because having, you know, having family there is wonderful. But, but Janice absolutely felt like family, you know, from the moment we met. And speaking of the piano, did that bond with Janice continue to fuel Marla's music career? Well, we followed her to the studio to get a taste of all the hard work that she's putting in on her new album. And right after our interview, she was on a plane to Antigua to shoot her first music video from the album. I, it just really happened over the last few years very, very naturally, and I'm, I'm very excited about it. As a Broadway performer, Marla's no stranger to the audiences, but music is a bit different. I love the support and the teamwork that you get from being in a big show. And as a musical artist, you have to self-motivate a little bit more. Just who you are. Well, Marla's music, as she says, is very chill out with spiritual undertones, and she's one of the most humble artists we've seen in a long time. Thank you. My, my, my word these days is thank you, yeah. thank you, and being grateful. And with such a famous name, let's face it, Marla could do just about anything, but she's constantly putting others first. I wouldn't be so happy if I was just running around thinking of myself all day. You know, that's really a dead end street. And, uh, you know, there's times in life you can, your fear can come up and your ego can step in and we all become very self-obsessed. And if you really can turn it around and think about what I have to share, then, then even the hardest tasks become much more enjoyable.